Hi folks, it's John Eisman from LastChanceAutoRestore.com and today I'm standing at the back of Eileen. This is a 1978 Volkswagen Westphalia van or camper van as some people like to refer to them as. The last time you saw, uh, this is basically an update uh, now that we have the engine out. The last video, we were just ready, we had it on the hoist, we were ready to remove the engine from the transmission. Um, so now we've done that. So now I just wanted to give you an idea. We were talking in the previous video about um, concerns about the body, body filler rust and damage. And, and here's a perfect example of what's hidden behind uh, once you remove the bump. So you can see obviously the engine has now been pulled out of the vehicle. Um, we'll, we'll have some pictures and some videos to show uh, with the engine um, out because it's um, it was originally a fuel injected motor and it was converted to a carburetor not done very well so we'll make sure that we update it correctly so this is just a quick little update we removed the rear bumper um, uh, to give us easier uh, access to pull the engine out from down below um, and then it also exposes and I think the camera can probably pick it up um, as you can see, which I suspected before, we've got some, there's quite a bit of body filler in this area and you can see some rust lines bleeding through and then you can see layers of paint uh, not properly treated on top of other layers of paint and you can see this has quite a bit of body filler in it also. And we come across, um, probably hard to pick up in the camera, but these factory spot welds are starting to bubble and the paint is peeling and then you can see some body damage over here. Um, and that would explain a lot of the dents and so on, previous repairs um, to the rear bumper of Eileen, the 78 Westphalia. So um, this obviously will be correcting. It, you couldn't really see it with the bumper in place, but you can obviously see it clearly now with the bumper removed. Um, so just a quick little update. Um, stay tuned because what we'll do is we'll continue to share with you the engine rebuild and the restoration of this 78 Westphalia. I'm John from Last Chance, autorestore.com.